what are the components that make up most structured products? So important to know with a structured note is that as an investor in a structured note, you are holding a, essentially an IOU from, from the issuing bank. Um, how the issuing bank then goes and uh, hedges that particular payoff profile that uh, you have referenced underneath the, uh, the note is, is really quite simple in the sense that there are only a few inputs or key ingredients, if you will. So, so one of the major drivers, uh, and it's very relevant to those uh, structured notes that have got a high degree of capital protection, is the cost of that protection. So um, the higher the interest rate, uh, the longer the tenor, uh, the cheaper the protection uh, is. Uh, that's why in South Africa, with our uh, what used to be quite high interest rates, which is a lot lower now, but uh, relative to, let's say, offshore markets, South Africa has got quite a high interest rate. The cost of protection of doing something in Czar is a lot cheaper than, let's say, trying to do that same level of protection in a hard currency like dollars or euros where interest rates are almost zero. So the cost of protection and the interest rate environment is, is a key ingredient. What fees are priced into the uh, note is also a, a key input. Uh, in many respects, uh, most structured notes have no fees priced into them. Um, it's what they would call a clean price note. And uh, any advice fee, platform fee, uh, all those sort of uh, fees would be then taken externally. But if you are pricing in fees, that would be a key ingredient. What you're trying to solve for, and you know, what upside are you looking for? Are you happy with 50% participation in an index, uh, provided you're getting full capital protection? Or are you uh, particularly uh, bullish on a particular underlying and you want to get two times gear? So what you're trying to solve for in terms of your investment rationale or your investment output outlook is very uh, important by way of an ingredient because you may not be able to afford it. Um, you know, everybody wants 10 times the upside with all the downside protection. Whether that's actually affordable uh, in the current environment is a different story. But the cost of protection, the fees included, and how much risk you're willing to take, which would raise premium for an investor. So if, if, if you have a product that is not, say, not capital protected, but that is, um, what we would call capital at risk. You, as an investor, are happy to take a certain level of risk. You receive premium for that from the bank, uh, and the bank then uses that in its um, solving for the upside participation. So, you know, just to recap, four ingredients, cost of protection, what fees you've priced in, what sort of upside potential you're looking to solve for, and how much capital you're willing to put at risk, if any, all go into uh, basically structuring of a, of a structured note.